Hey there, it's Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Another week has passed and therefore I'm here with my next video. And today I will continue the topic that I have discussed already and that is about greeting phrases. But I will focus on one specific greeting phrase that some of my students have used when communicating with me and I wanted to explain you more about it. And that greeting phrase is ciao. Probably all of you know that ciao comes from Italian and many of you have noticed that Latvians do use the word ciao. But I would like to warn you and to suggest you to be really careful with ciao. Although I have seen some of my colleagues, if I can call them so, teaching Latvian on internet and saying that nobody nowadays says labdien or other formal greeting phrases, that everybody says ciao, I'd like to object to it. I wouldn't say nobody says labdien or labrīt or labvakar and that everybody says ciao. That is not true. In fact, it is safer to stick to the formal greeting phrases like labrīt in the morning, labdien in the daytime and labvakar in the evening. And really be careful with ciao. I suggest that you do not start using ciao in your communication with another person before that person does it. Because some people might not like you using ciao when greeting them. Ciao is a very informal word and that is usually used between relatives or people who are very good friends. Also, young people use ciao more often than middle-aged people or older people. Latvian language and culture is more conservative definitely than American culture and language. When you say ciao to a person who you don't really know that well, you risk to make him or her think that you don't respect him or her enough. Or you simply risk to form an opinion about yourself as a person who is not well-mannered or who doesn't understand culture cues. I'm teaching more about the greeting phrases in video of day 9 of my Latvian challenge Four Words a Day. But now more about the word ciao. If Latvians do use ciao, they usually use ciao when they meet each other. But when they part and say bye-bye, they usually say ata. And I have taught this before too. Ciao is not that often used when saying bye-bye. This is different to how Americans use ciao, because they do use ciao when they say bye-bye. So, once more, I'm suggesting that you avoid using ciao if a person who you communicate with has never used the word ciao when greeting you. That is a safer route. And you usually use ciao when you meet people, if you do use ciao. But not that often you use ciao when you say goodbye. When you say goodbye or bye-bye informally, you usually use the word ata. Before I end this short lesson, I would like to tell you that I am going to put a pause to my reading lessons because I have a new plan in my mind for these weekly video lessons, but you will learn more about it next week, probably next Friday. But now I'll say bye-bye, ata, till the next time.